five. Still in the pinpoint weather alert. Not quite as uh, serious of a situation as we had yesterday at this time, Michelle, but still a little slick out there on Wednesday morning. Yeah, it's a little icy in spots, especially as you get to secondary roads, sidewalks, your front steps. And on top of that, we've had a few flurries and snow showers that have come through overnight and coated the ground in many spots with a fresh layer of snow on top of that ice. You can see it's kind of tapering off this morning. And if we look to the north, there are some snow showers for those traveling north towards Maine this morning. You're going to find some icy spots. We're also watching some snow showers crossing the Great Lakes. Those will be pushing towards our area in response to a cold front. Now we remain on relatively the milder side of the front today. We are below freezing this morning, so allowing some of those uh, damp patches from yesterday's half an inch of rain and freezing rain to uh, to freeze. So 28 degrees in Smithfield right now. It's 30 in Providence. New Bedford right at 30 degrees. Boston sitting just below freezing at 31. So almost a lot of puddles also on my ride into work. 29 in Richmond, about 31 in Narragansett. Our three key things. Got to watch your step this morning for those icy patches. That brief snow squall possible in the late afternoon and evening between roughly 4 and 7 p.m. And it's ahead of a cold front. And behind that front, we've got a fr frigid finish to the week Thursday and Friday. And on top of it, we're going to see some gusty winds. I'll show you those wind chills that we're expecting for tomorrow. For this morning's commute, watch for those icy spots. Skies will be clearing out. The temperatures in the upper 20s. Here's the cold air that's moving in later today. You can see it up into Canada and the Great Lakes region. That's in association with this cold front. That front's going to sweep across our area to finish out the day as our storm system from yesterday continues to depart. These snow showers are winding down and the skies will be clearing this morning in our hour by hour forecast shows that. So 8 o'clock in the morning, we're starting to see more sunshine, upper 30s, upper 20s to lower 30s. By lunchtime, we're hitting our highs for the day in the mid 30s in Providence, Taunton, New Bedford, a few upper 30s likely. Newport's at 35, and we start off the afternoon with sunshine. What happens though, right around the time of the evening commute? Now these are hit or miss. It's like tracking a thunderstorm in the summertime. Some get hit with a quick snow squall, others will keep sunny skies. So be on the lookout for these because as they come through, some briefly reduced visibility, as well as a quick coating to a half an inch of snow a possibility. Those will be moving offshore and our skies will be clearing as the temperatures drop at 8 o'clock this evening. So we will have to watch again for some icy spots where we get those snow squalls way right down into the lower 20s by the evening hours, then dropping into the teens overnight. This is not the wind chill. This is the actual air temperature tomorrow morning running in the lower teens and there could even be a few single digits. So that's without adding in a 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. When we do that, we get the wind chill for your tomorrow. And here's what we're expecting for your Thursday. So starting off seven o'clock in the morning, wind chills at or below zero, and it doesn't improve too much. We're looking at single digit wind chills even into much of the afternoon hours. Now the winds will be diminishing as we head into Thursday night and Friday, setting us up for another cold start to the day. Friday afternoon highs a few degrees warmer, but still below normal at 30 degrees. The upcoming weekend looking dry with a trend towards more normal temperatures for late December. If you're headed to the Pats game, a storm free day on Saturday. It'll be dry and cool with temperatures a kickoff right around the low to mid 30s. Sunday, low 40s for highs with sunshine and looking ahead to a busy holiday week. Right now that week starting off quiet Christmas Eve and Christmas Day both looking storm free. Get the latest forecast on the WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app. We'll be updating you throughout the morning as we send out any weather alerts and you can get the latest 